Greetings, greetings. Um, welcome to I and I Reasoning. Temple of Know Thyself. Yes. Today's a late one. I've had uh, a hectic last couple of days. So, um, yeah, I'll explain as we go along <laughs> what I've been up to. But anyway, today's the 17th of the 12th. 2023 counting down people counting down two weeks two weeks to go to the end of the year and then um 2024 is around the corner time is flying time is flying grab it grab it as mom says grab it while you have it because once it's gone it's gone you can't get hold of it again all right so today we're gonna have a quick one because uh my hands are full juggling bits and pieces <coughs> but um it's the consistency i try and be as much as consistent as possible as i can um, that's the key sometimes it's a uh, quality over quantity isn't it so definitely gonna be a quick one today so what's what's been happening um this week Training, I've gone heavy now. Um, doing a bit of bulk training. I decided I'm gonna do that for for another what six weeks, and then I'm gonna drop down a little bit. So six weeks is the goal, and the next two weeks uh, eat as much as I want and enjoy the festival season, and then after that I will be stopping. What I'm doing so I've got different groups of people so I'll just give you some ideas of um, some of the goals that were I'll be working with people I've got the the money saving group so for starting January for the next 12 months I have groups of people that they're gonna have different targets some will be five grand 10 grand, 2 grand, even a grand. Um, that's our goal for the year to save. Yeah, so we've got the money group. Then we've got the fasting group as well. Any type of fasting that you're interested in. That's why I'm counting down these two weeks to make people aware. You can come up with your own concept. It's just that I just got different groups that we're going to do different challenges. My one. Um, I'm going to probably start maybe the 3rd or the 4th of January. I'm, I'm not too sure what particular date. I'll get back to that on that. Um, and my one would be no alcohol and the money saving group people plus training. So there are different groups for different activities that we're going to be doing. So just pick a goal and work with that goal, yeah? So we'll do that for about six, seven weeks. Some things and the rest of the things are going to be for six months. Basically being a short-term, um, mid-term and long-term goal, yeah? So some is going to be for 12 months, some going to be for six months, some going to be for three months. So the alcohol for me will definitely be six, six weeks until I go away on holiday. That's my goal to stop. And then when I go on holiday, have a drink and then I'll come back and I'll start that discipline again. So bulk training, that's what we're doing. Uh, anything else? Yeah, work is uh, going good. Can't complain. Give thanks for that. God is great. And um, what else has been happening? That, that's it. That's it. Can't, can't complain. Can't complain. The weather. Yeah. The cold is getting better, man. <coughs> um, the cold is much game but I've got dry cough a little bit down to now but I took different mixture <clears throat> the brandy I've tried the lem sip the uh, uh, ginger and lemon tea <laughs> I've tried moringa tea um, what's the other one called lemongrass mints <laughs> I've went through all of them man. I went through sauna <laughs> I try to hold different things, but it's it's working. It's, it's getting. I can see the improvement. 
definitely so give thanks just keep doing what you're doing that's whatever, whatever you're going through keep doing what you're doing um what else is that that's it really just want to i just want to get into this because i don't want to be too too long-winded um i went and picked up my children i've got them here for one week with me um spend some time with me for this week but um yeah they've been here two days already and they're in trouble with me i had to put, lay down some rules man i keep telling them man in my house i'm the man of the house here these are the rules so they're breaking some of the rules already yeah there has to be what do you call it um, i don't want to put it it's like uh, i'm trying to be i don't want to be political correct man because <coughs> i think i don't want to box it to put it in that way i think each each parent or each person have their particular way of raising their children remember there's no handbook oh, what works for me might not work for you oh, what works for you might not work for me there's no particular way but i i say to them listen uh, this lying and stealing thing i can't do but because mom's got loads of sweets around the house it's a granny's house man so them just stealing and taking things i'm like yo 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 and leaving these dishes around. <laughs> I don't mind. I know, as I said that before in my podcast, I'm, I'm mischievous, but there must be some rules and regulations, man. You can't just take the piss just like that. So, um, yeah, I just had to put my foot down and explain to them. I'm talking to them, to them today again. They did something wrong. I said, bam, give me the iPads and the computers, phones. Nah no nothing for today so today they went without that and uh, it's it's life skills it's, it's life lessons i'm teaching them that i said to them when you go to school you have to be there a certain time in it if you misbehave there's consequences isn't it so yeah so it's same in my house <laughs> there's rules and there are consequences you know what i mean i'm trying to i'm a fair person but when you keep taking the piss you know what I mean? There's consequences. So, those are my rules. And I said to him, look, if you don't like my rules, you don't have to come here, man. <laughs> Just straight up. But you can't knock me and say, yeah, I'm not a good dad. Nah, 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 nah. I'm telling you, if you're in my company, these are the things that I will tolerate and these are the things I will not tolerate. So, I'm not your friend. We put that down straight away. I'm not your friend. I'm your dad. And these are the, my rules. So they said sorry, but I'm saying to them, well, at least you're understanding this is who I am. I'm firm on my decision and I'm not moving nowhere. You know what I mean? As long as you don't disrespect me, I'm not gonna disrespect you. Like I'm cool, man. I'm very laid back, easy going guy. But when you start leaving things around and na 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 respect your environment that you're in. And you're in my environment and I have certain standards, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm putting certain standards and that's what I expect from you so when you leave you're like you know what <laughs> that is hard but he's right <laughs> you know what I mean so um, my mom's sick at the moment now so let me add that bit into the story that's why I said it's, it's a quick one for me today um, Yesterday I took her to the doctors and um, she's got some breathing problems. And they said to me, um, I think you should take your mum to, to the A&E and stuff like that. So we went there and they checked on her and they, they said, no, listen, we're going to keep her in. So that's where she is. So that's where I came. I took her yesterday and then I went home and because they told me to go home because they're going to keep her in. And then I just came back about an hour ago. Um, made like an overnight bag for her and gave her a mobile phone like i said i bought a mobile phone for her for christmas because her one she had would keep breaking down so i've changed up all the whatsapp and set up everything so i can call her and you know and we can chat and stuff like that so i took all that stuff to her so she's staying there <coughs> tomorrow so they said that she might be there for a couple of days so i'm saying to my children them listen guys hey what you guys are big people. 
2 of uh, 12, 1 is 17. And I'm saying to him, listen, I don't eat chicken. Let's, you guys, um, go and get some chicken. And you're going to cook. They're like, no, nah, dad, we don't. I'm like, bruv, listen. <laughs> you guys are going to cook because I'm not here to cook for you. I hear me. I'm looking after my mum. I've got some issues with my mum. Yeah. Here's everything. I've paid for everything. You're going to go and cook. So they cooked in the end. But I'm like, listen, you gotta, you have to kick in, man. You, you guys are big people. Because if you're back home, you, you'll be doing this stuff. Don't get too comfortable here. You know what I mean? And I don't eat chicken. And I said, that's just your food. So you're going you're gonna to have to step up to the plate. So that's what they cook. So um, they've got chicken tomorrow. And then they're going to cook up their rice. No, they've got rice and stuff. And then during the week, they'll cook up stuff. Because I said to him, listen, my mum my mom is not well. So even when she comes out, I don't really want you guys to be... Because uh, she normally cooks for them. I want her to relax, man. Take it easy. So she might be there for about a week, they said. So hopefully, God willing, that she will come out just before Christmas. And um, she needs a little bit of rest. You know what I mean? Even though she wants to see her grandchildren and stuff like that. But she needs the rest. I prefer to stay in there and rest for a little bit. Because as soon as she gets back home, she'll be running around trying to cook for them. And nah, I'm saying to them, listen, this week you guys are going to learn life skills. Because <laughs> me, I've got work. So I bought them everything. Everything's in the house. Yeah. Um, they've got quite a lot of chicken I bought. Because I said to them, they eat chicken a lot. So I said to them, well, you're only here for a week anyway. So if you, if you plan it out, um, they did, well, my son did some barbecue wings and stuff like that. And they've got chicken for tomorrow to cook as well. So I said to them, you can do like different type of chicken, you know what I mean? And then you have chicken with salad. I've got potatoes. You can have like roasted potatoes with chicken. Then you can have chicken with rice. You know what I'm saying? Like just be creative. But I leave it to you guys. Everything is there. But just step up to the plate now. You know what I mean? This, this is um, part of your um, life skills. So, yeah. Appreciate, appreciate your appearance, man. You know what I mean? Because you, you, it's, it's these moments that you spend with them. This is why I came here to look after. So I'm running around today, as I said, the last two days. Taking her from hospital and then taking her appointments and checking her in. Um, my role has kicked in now. Yeah. So that's, that's what I've been doing today. And then cleaning the house and preparing her stuff. Then during the week, I'm going to have to juggle and see how... Um, I can go and visit her at the same time. You know what I mean? But hopefully if it's a week, then most likely. I think she will most, God willing. She'll be out by Friday or Saturday. Because she went in Saturday. So the, the person did say about, the doctor says about, about a week. Once they do all the tests and stuff like that. And I said to her, yeah, just let them look after you, man. Just, just take it easy. Sometime, uh, because of her condition, I think she's safer in that environment than being at home. You know what I mean? So... Just take it easy and enjoy yourself. So the lesson is just really appreciate the people that you have around you. You know what I mean? Because we take them for granted. It's only until these situation occurs that, um, yeah, it makes us think for a little bit. You know what I mean? So appreciate, appreciate um, your loved ones. And it's okay to be a bit strict with your children, man. Don't let them run <laughs> <laughs> run over you at the, at the same time yeah there has to be some boundaries so it, it teaches them later on about certain life skills and how to problem solve and how to deal with situations so it's not about you being mean it's just showing them that if you've done something wrong pull them up so yeah that that's that's um yeah that's that's what i've been juggling man i've been juggling and um running around doing the father role and being a son as well that's that's the last two days I've, I've been i've been doing that and that's what i'll be doing for the week because tomorrow i've got training and by the time i get up my children are sleeping so i've I told them there's eggs i bought them bread and stuff i said look get up tomorrow morning by the time i get back from the gym that like, make your breakfast because i've got work in the afternoon as well 
and um, plan plan yourself so you can just have an easy day. You know what I'm saying to you. They've got their guitar and trumpet. So I said to him, like, play your instrument. Just, just Don't just sit down and watch TV all day. You know what I'm saying to you. And play games, you know. Even though you're on holiday time. But at least do things to stimulate your mind as well. So so that's it. But um, yeah, be, be thankful for life, man. Be thankful. I say to people, be thankful and grateful. Because it's only until somebody goes, then you, you realise... Kind of like yeah, it's that's when you kind of miss them. But in the moment, you know what I mean. You, you don't you don't really understand that um, those people around you, you know what I mean. They cherish them. That's the word I'm looking for. Cherish the people around you. You know what I mean. Because once they're gone, they're gone. You know, yeah, it's um. So for me, it's like it's it's an honour and privilege to actually, even though I see my mum is going through a lot of suffering, I I get to see, be around her and, and you know what I mean. It's nice to, to to have that, even though you know, <laughs> we say teeth must bite tongue, but <laughs> we have our moments. But uh, yeah, it's um, yeah honour your parents, man, and your days will be longer. That's what I'm teaching my children. So they can see as a, as, a, as a father How I look after my mum And I said to them Listen, yeah you're my children But at the moment now I need to look after my mum You guys have to look after yourself I can't look after you That's why I said to them I ain't, come, I ain't coming back here to cook for you guys <laughs> You have to cook for yourself I've got a mum to look after man. I've got things to do You know what I mean So they, they can learn from my action because sometimes they say actions are louder than words, isn't it? They can see how the way I um, interact with my mother and the things I do for my mother. That you, when you become older, you might have to do that for me or your mum. Yeah? Because you, I'm, I'm lead, leading by example. Yeah, sometimes you're going to have to do that. Because we're going to get older one day, innit? So, be the examples sometime. <coughs> let them see. Let them see, you know? Let them see. Because they see me cleaning the house. I'm trying to fix the house at the same time. As well, providing for them. Before I left and then go to my mum. Do you understand? So be, be the example for you, for your children. So when you get older, God willing, you know, that um, they can be around there to support you. Because we all need that support. We all need that support, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's nice to have people around you to support you in times of, um, of ups and downs. So we, we all need that. So appreciate. Learn to appreciate. And that's what I said, like, I do my best to pick up the bit of wisdom like um, my mum made this particular sauce and said just before she got sick she taught me well she showed me the ingredients and how she did it this pepper sauce so those are the little tips that you you want to pick up wherever it is it could be words of wisdom or a style of cooking or something that she does your parents yeah or even any family member it doesn't have to be your parents any family member someone you respect yeah give them their flowers you know and, and take on board as much as you can of their experience that can help you later on in life because that pepper sauce you taught me now I, I have different things of, I love it man it's nice I'm like yeah I'm, I'm going to try that with my with my own little twist on top but she gave me the foundation that's what it is I wanted the foundation and then you build on it and also as I said it's, it's about the morals what morals that she teaches me I, I try my best to pass it on to my children so those my children can see the kind of man I am because I want I want my my children to understand that um, even though you're in relationship and sometimes it doesn't go the right way it doesn't stop you from being a, a 
with mother or father. You understand? That's what I explained to them. That when you're around me, these are my rules. This is who I am. I'm not your friend. Yeah, you, when you when you get older, you'll respect me for that. Keep your environment tidy and clean, especially if you're around me. Because when you come to my place, it's tidy and clean. And if you disrespect that, I'm going to pull you up on it. I'm not going to allow you to... No, 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 no. You pull it up. That's why I call them straight away. And pull them up and tell them off. Listen, you can't do that around me. That's disrespectful. You know what I mean? Set your rules up. Because then people are not after a while. Because this is the second time I told them. By the third time, you get the hang of it. Because then they're like, oh, nah, dad's getting pissed off now. Of course, I'm getting pissed off. Because I've told you one, two times already. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a short one today, man. Appreciate the people around you. And as my mom says, opportunity is a man with a hair. Grab it. I'm learning that more and more. And I apply it to my day of life. Opportunity is a man with a hair. Grab it while you have it. Because once it's gone, believe me, people, it is gone. So whatever you want in life or whatever you... Whatever it is you want to try, just do it. Do what you can. It's same like me. I'm doing, I'm, and I'm learning. Trials and errors. That's how. That's what is experience. And that's why I told them, my children. Yeah, I don't mind you making the mistakes, but you must learn from the mistakes. Because even though I'm, I'm, I, you've, you've done something wrong. I've told you off now. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hit them or nothing. I'm speaking to you verbally. I'm making you aware that you've done something wrong. Can you please stop doing that? And there are going to be consequences after me speaking to you. There must be some form of consequences. So hence I took away the stuff. Yeah. So appreciate your life. You know, don't take it for granted. And if you have something to do, just do it. Forget about what people think, man. I'm, I'm getting tired of that. Just go out there and do your thing, man. Next year, is, it's, it's a year of abundance. Like, anything you want to do, just go out and do it. You know what I'm saying? Just do you. And I said, these conversation, it's just like, my children might reflect on this when they're hearing. It's like, rah. <laughs> I remember that when that particular day. <laughs> or other people, it's just, it's just to stimulate your mind. It's just to help you as an individual how to overcome these challenges and how to deal with these things and look at things and analyze it yeah because for me as i said i'm always seeking to learn as you grow older for me anyway i can't speak for anyone it's it's about opening up my pioneer gland to absorb information to become a wiser person to move wisely and to understand yeah from my mistakes when someone does something it's like yeah i, I did that once but then i want to learn and move on from that it's okay to make mistakes that's how we learn but don't take the piss <laughs> at the same time. And also, as I said, appreciate the people around you. Because sometimes they bless you and you don't know the blessings. It's only until you go, they're gone. And you're like, damn. <coughs> that person really looked out for me. You know what I mean? So, appreciate your parents. It tells you in the Bible. Honor your parents in your days, you know? Honor your mother and father in your days will be within bliss you know blessings will be beyond to you so that's it man like stay focused ladies and gentlemen this is a brief one not, not too long stay focused and keep going after your goal uh, have a positive mindset be proactive in what you're doing and you will succeed every challenge that we have Take a step back and analyze it. Sometimes those challenges are good for you. And that's and that's the way I look at when I when, when I see my children. I don't I don't just rush off at them. I try to explain through communication their actions and the consequences of their action. I try I'm a more of a reasoning person. And then I I'm, after that I will give them the reason why I'm doing this particular thing why I came to this conclusion and that's because of being around some elders and experience 
yeah that's what i say you have to appreciate the people around you yeah they have you have to appreciate them for, for who they are and what they are and the impact they have on your life so yeah um two weeks ladies and gentlemen left i'll give an update my mom's a very strong person you know so <laughs> she's she's <laughs> She's, she's just there. She just has her own particular issues like everybody else. And I, I try to share these issues with people. They say we all go through different forms of issues. Traumas and ups and downs. However, it's how you deal with it. That's what makes your character. Yeah, That's who you are. So that's it. We're counting down. Two weeks. Have a prosperous and wonderful um, Monday ahead. Um, children are off school. Some children are breaking up next week, actually. Some of my friends, children are still at school. And uh, be happy. I always ask people, are they happy when I do interview? Are you happy with yourself? Be happy with yourself. Love yourself for who you are. And be grateful for the opportunity that you have in life. Life is full with abundance. It's just the people that, you know, it's the people that do things. But the life in general, life is wonderful. It just it becomes, oh, how do I put it? It's your perspective. It's your perspective. So that's it. Have a different perspective and you'll see a different, totally different outcome on life. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a blessed and wonderful, prosperous week. Um, I love everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And I and I reason is just about I and I reason with I and I self. Temple of know thyself. Know who you are, what you are, what do you want to achieve, what do you want to do. Just try something. Just go out there and do it. Not even try. Just go and do it. 24, 24, 2024 is just around the corner. Yeah. Do not procrastinate. Just get it done. Just try it. You never know. You never know. You only know until you try. As I say in the lottery, you have to be in it to win it. <laughs> so that's it. <coughs> so stay focused, keep your head up. God bless you. And continue to be who you are. And I love you for who you are. All right. So that's it. Take care. God bless. Next week, uh, Sunday, I and I reasoning. Temple of know thyself. Love of you people from all around the world. God bless.